This part of town's run by a man named Tony DeRazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages Lou's relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted and the rest of the hotel is crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. He took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and launder lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts. Then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. in the city clerk's office and your friend said you could help with this guy blackmailing me. What kind of juice makes you someone worth blackmailing? My office approves new projects under development. I... I fucked up, cheated on my wife, and this guy, Jimmy Cavar, filmed it. Come to find out the guy worked for Cavar too. And now he owns you? He's forcing me to rubber stamp phony building projects and cash the checks for his company, Cavar Construction. Probably seen the signs over where they're building the new city hall. Thing is, Caval doesn't really come around unless there's a problem. Don't worry. I'm pretty good at causing people problems. Some of his men hang out around downtown. Look, I ain't a bad guy. I, I just made a mistake is all. Keep your head down, Lenny. I'll pay Caval's men a visit. See what they know. Caval's people will know more about what he's doing than I will. Maybe it's Sorry. not too late to go to the police.
That black bitch is mine. I know you're working for Kavar. Tell me what he's up to. Mr. Kavar just moved a shit ton of stuff, and the money's just sitting there, waiting for somebody to take it. We all get a piece Sweet of dreams. it. Sweet dreams. This is the...
You sons of bitches! You fucking punks! I fucking vouch for you and Mr. Kabob, both of you pricks! Just use the fucking body out of here. Looks like what? Anybody see where it went? Look who I found. Over here! He's over here!
at the City Hall construction site and wants to see me. He knows. I don't know how, but he knows I've been helping you people. He's gonna kill me, or I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag, get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this law will be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? Sure. Kavar's waiting for you. I'm gonna follow your advice. Get out of town. A few of the girls are going to call me.
fucking heights. Run for cover. Get behind him! All set to take him out! He, he's over here! That black bitch is mine. He's killing our fucking crew! I got that cocksucker! Pony D is gonna bury me. You hear? Bury me. Worried about the wrong man, Jimmy. I'm downtown. Need some help securing it. Certainly. I'll send them immediately. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry, me. I should shit can your crack of ass right now. Please don't do that, sir. This job's all I got. Look out! Careful, asshole! Oh! <coughs> oh. <coughs> 